this whole session was prompted by a couple of clients asking some um, questions about mass email marketing. We do uh, email marketing for a couple of big brands um, in the US and Latin America. We send millions of emails on a monthly basis. So um, we know about deliverability and um, we get these questions about clients' domain names being blocked. If you're going to do cold outreach, for example, um, and if you're going to send uh, mass emails, and mass meaning I would say anything above 10, 15,000 cold emails would be mass email, you have to make sure that you register a second domain name to send it from. And you have to make sure that you warm up your IP. Now, as much as I know, Constant Contact MailChimp does not have this functionality. The only system that I know that does a really, really good job and the system we use is Mailgun, correct? The problem with Mailgun is that the Mailgun is API based, which means it only works for code. However, uh, there's a tool that we've actually developed called uh, Mailum.io, which we'll share in this blog post as well, that you can use. You can leverage Mailgun, but there is a specific process. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a checklist, um, an infograph along with the sessions that you can review that gives you probably 15 to 20 checklists that you need to do. Some of those are, again, you have to register a new domain name, you have to um, warm up the IP before you start sending tens of thousands of emails, you have to make sure, like Carlos said, to personalize your first name, last name, and your copy needs to be really good. And I would add on top of that, don't just email people offering your services, you have to have some value in there. You have to have a, a, a value proposition to that person, otherwise, you're just spamming them if you're not providing any value. Um, always have an unsubscribe button. Always have your address in the email copy because it's going to legitimize your email. Um, never ever send it from a Gmail or a Hotmail. You have to have your own domain name, possibly on using Google, Google uh, Apps. And uh, there are technical things like DKIM and SPF uh, name servers that you need to have set up. Uh, or CNAME records that you need to have set up to confirm that you are a legitimate domain, you are a legitimate business, etc., etc.